Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, the title of this one, have you ever heard the phrase, uh, a broken system? Uh, maybe in different places. Uh, you may have heard, oh, the school system is broken. I'm not talking about here, but maybe different places. Or maybe, oh, that city government is, is just broken down. Um, or even... <laughs> I was told, even though maybe a, a water line, you know, that water line that might have been broken down, maybe experience a, a line that uh, has been broken. I know one time, uh, just before Jennifer was was born, we were, I think it was after, it was after she was born, and all of a sudden, uh, Mrs. Miller asked me, she said, oh, what are those people doing over there? I said, oh. They're just checking the water meter. They do that? I said, oh, yeah, they do that all the time. So I was in there kind of tidying up and <clears throat> doing some dishes. And I turned that water, boy, water was just going, you know, just cleaning away. And all of a sudden, the water pressure just got lighter and lighter and lighter, and all of a sudden, it just quit. I said, oh, no. And he said, what? I said, with everything going on, I said, I forgot to pay the bill. And I said, oh, no. I said, but the system was down because of me. But the title of this one, Broken Down System. But God's system never breaks down. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bible, uh, turn to Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11. That's one thing I, I love, that no matter what kind of system you're dealing with, it might break down, and especially some of the system that you might uh, that are important, like a water system, or maybe a, the a district system, or a city system. That's one thing about uh, God's system. It never breaks down. No matter where you are, oh, that's what I love. It. I love that you, you can even be by yourself driving. Now, I do not recommend you closing your eyes and try to drive, unless you're a pro, or you have one of those fancy new cars or vehicles that can drive by themselves. But still, I would be wary. But no, I love it. You, you could be anywhere, in your car, working out in the fields, no matter. Or you could be around with people, but also have a conversation with the Lord. See, that system doesn't fail on God's end. What about you? It might fail on your end. Why? Maybe we are not deep in the Scripture very much. Or maybe that, oh, I just don't have time to talk to the Lord right now. See, God always keeps his promises. His system never fails or breaks down. Even on the time that you think, God, where were you? And he said, well, well, what does this have to do? See, God gives us in Luke chapter 11, as said in verse 1, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he sees, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. As much as important for the other person or the worker to get the job done, I'll just use the water lining, for example, to get it flowing. If something ever happens, well, he's got to be there or she's got to be there to fix it. But let me tell you something, if not, there'll be a lot of people on that phone, won't they? Hey, where's my water? What's going on? Or same as a, a school district. Why is it failing? Do we need to get people in there? What's going on? Do we need to change some things? See, that's one thing here. One of the disciples asked Jesus, or excuse me, asked the Lord, teach us to pray. As John also taught his disciple, verse 2, and he said unto them, when ye pray, say, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom comes, Thy will be done, as it's in heaven, so in earth. See, a lot of people like to skip that, thy will be mm -hmm. done. Yeah. Oh, Lord, what, what I think it should be best, I think so much that I need to be doing this. See, that's the problem. Y'all know we, me, where it comes to that I, but thy will. Lord, what is your will for me? For today, when I get up to go to work or go meet somebody for lunch or to go out in this world, what is your will for me? As 
That's one thing to today, well, not today, this week, someone was asking and talking. I said, uh, Chewy, what's wrong with the system? I said, well, what do you mean? There's a fella walking and he said, I've asked, I went to, you know, this place to go get help. Uh, and they said, I, I can't help you. Uh, he's trying to get everything in line. And uh, I said, maybe you just have to go back and go back. He was talking about a social security office. He said, they denied me, and you can tell. I said, I know. I said, our system is broken. That's how I got this sermon title. I said, I know. He said, I've worked all my life. And then when finally I need help, I desperately need some help, where is the system? I said, I know. I said, that's one thing. He said, the people that gets on the system, they don't need it. I've seen it many of times, but I need it now. I got hurt, and I said, that's one thing that we can cling on. It's the Lord, Jesus Christ. See, there's a door and opportunity, and I took it to tell him about Christ. See, many of times, door and opportunity is there. It's either you're going to open it or you're going to just pass it by. I encourage him. I said, man, you, you got to go back. Go back and go back. At the beginning of the week, and I saw him uh, Friday, and, and uh, he said, you told me to go back. He told me I was denied. But I got back again. I went back again, and I was denied again. I said, well, I'm sorry about that. You know? <coughs> he said, no. He said, you told me to go back, and I did. And he said, I got accepted. I said, praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. I said, I said that's a sermon in itself. Because he found out I was a pastor as well. He said, well, how do you do that? You wear one uniform during the week and then you preach. I said, boy, I said, I, I, said, I preach on the law during the week and then I preach love yeah. and grace on the weekend. Uh, right. But no, I said, you just got to keep on. I said, don't give up. See, you might find a broken down system of wherever you are. Well, let me tell you something. When we can cling on the Lord and His will be done in verse uh, 3, give us day by day our daily bread. What's your daily bread? What's my daily bread? Is it the study in God's Word? Is it to pray to God while we go to work or wherever we are? Because let me tell you something. If we don't eat constantly, will we get hungry? Oh, we will. We will. I've, many times I have been in meetings. I know y'all have never experienced this, so I'll tell you. Been in meetings, I thought, oh, I don't need any breakfast. I'll go to a meeting, and then all of a sudden, oh, my. You hear your stomach just starts talking to you. And it amazes me what kind of different positions you can sit in the chair. Oh, this way, and this way. And I'm always just trying to uh, maybe tap your foot, be a little loud, maybe yawn a little bit. But yet what? Your stomach starts growling and starts talking to you. What well, is the same as our spiritual self? Or are we daily in, in, the, in God's Word, praying, reading? Oh, we get this one, verse 4. And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Boy, but you don't, Jerry, you don't understand. See? That song, Let It Go. Have y'all heard that? I think it's a cartoon. Let it go. Give it to the Lord. Leave it on his altar. Oh, no, Jerry. I just, let him take care of it. Many of times, we, we as humans, oh, I need to take care of it. I need to do something. Now, let me tell you something. We're passing by from this life. Let God take care of it. Forgive them. But that's hard to do. It is. God did not call us to be soldiers for easy tasks. He called us to be soldiers in His army for hard tasks. To show the difference. 
Because let me tell you something. Is the system going to be broken on your end? Because God's system never breaks. Amen. It's up to you. Right. And then let me tell you something. When the, there's temptations, and we say, here, deliver us from evil. But as many times in the scriptures there are temptations that have tempted people. Boy, they took off Joseph. Um, the king's that was the king's wife cornered him, and he took off. And he said, "Nope, I'm going this way." And he was—he didn't have clothes on, but he said, "Uh, -uh. I'm not going to deal with that." What about Jesus being in the wilderness? Even the devil tempted him. If the devil would tempt Jesus. Knowing that he's the perfect man in the world, never sin whatsoever, try to tip you think the devil won't try to tip you right. and me. And if you have your Bibles, turn to first John. First John chapter five. Broken down system. Y'all know we have they might get frustrated. But God's system never fails. Yeah. Yeah. Chapter 5 of 1 John and verse 13 and 14. These things I have written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God that ye may know that ye have eternal life that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God, of my Jesus. That this is confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, y'all remember that word, His will, He hears us. Do not forget that word, His will, will the Lord's will. Because many of times we think, well, where were you, Lord? Why did this happen? Oh, I guess the system is broken. Because let me tell you something. The, the world will throw that at you. The devil will say, well, well, God fell you. Where is he? Oh, that person did you wrong. Well, let me tell you something. There's a lot of system out here. And there's a lot of systems that are good, but there's some systems that, boy, they're just, they're broke down. Well, let me tell you something. When we lean on to God, hold Him close to us, eat our daily bread, read scriptures, have prayer time. We were at Brahms. My family and I, we, we went to uh, Brahms and uh, Hugo. They stopped by. And, uh, we got a, we ordered something, uh, a meal, and uh, we sit down on one side, and my co-worker and his family sat on the other, and uh, we were chit-chatting, and <coughs> Jennifer, she held up her hands and said, hey, you want to pray? We'll, we'll ask her, you want to pray? And boy, it's so funny. She didn't grab our hands, oh. she bowed her head, and we didn't really pray right then and there. It didn't matter who was watching. And then when we got done, she, she said, Amen. We all laughed and giggled. <laughs> but then people, I could see, were watching. Train them up, right? On our end. Is it broken? You can always repair it if it's broken. A relationship, a communication with somebody. But guess what? God's system never breaks down. It never fails. But let me tell you something. It's up to us. If it does break, how can we repair it? Hey, pray to the Lord. Hey, ask what your will, Lord, to be done. I don't understand. There's a lot of things I don't understand. But you know what? With the Lord, you can gain knowledge by constantly reading in His Word. He said, well, I do that. Then I want to encourage you. But let me tell you something. There's some systems that are breaking. Damn, y'all see it around us. But God, system never breaks down. Let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for who you are and for loving us. Lord, we thank you that you cherish each and every one of us. 
Lord, that we can be a child of you. What an honor and a privilege. Wow. Lord, even when we stumble and we fall, Lord, you encourage us. You hold us.